supposed to watch out for my friends, and she's my only friend. I don't want to. And you didn't deal with Beauty and Beast. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something that wasn't. Good. <laughs> Couldn't tell which button was knock on the door and which was beat the door down. Oh. What do you want? Well... Cop stuff. You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? You want to ass beating. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Vigby. Get the... with all the sneaking around and secrets. I'm a detective, I'm you ass. I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. God damn it. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Let's snoop, snoop, snoop around. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went. <laughs> That's the first back. thing I'd do, too. And, and <laughs> just knock on the side. Him again? Mm. I trust him. Talk about living in the he past. Was secrets for you. It was one little thing. What? Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? Why are you knocking on everything? On our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. I'm not going to give you any money, Finish Beauty. Later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to well, talk, I'm a we'll cop, not a bank. What the hell? There's, oh, wait. I don't know what the electric bill is for that thing. <laughs> it's got a lot of good observations. Sorry, is the one who knocks. it's been a long night. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say. Why don't you centuries put on some actual clothes rather than centuries of baggage? Trench coat. I gotta oh, say, she's got pants on. Place. It looks uh, expensive. What do you I mean by that? It. Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out Ooh. from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. <laughs> Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? I like it when he actually Stop has the, the options bullshit. I want. Quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. <laughs> You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain like, kind of. These are my two least favorite stuff, characters, but okay? the big B interactions are probably my favorite interactions like with it. This. <laughs> it's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like. <gasps> the phone. It's ringing. Why would it do that? Hi there. Nice. You've reached Beauty. Old. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. 
Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey, Skiing we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Uh oh, it's the orange I've guy. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. It says dead collector. It's so disappointed in that voicemail. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? It's all over. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. <laughs> I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably... There's only one Tweedle now, so... ...they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see the now... The hug was, was super mistake, awkward, you're right. I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I, I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. I don't look down no or up case. at you, so... I guess he's hit hard times, too. Boom. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe I think I killed if you dumb. go there, you can... Sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the I crooked man, I thought we decided there, about 90 seconds ago. Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And <laughs> and what? You know that butcher shop, the cut above. It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher <laughs> called. He had a problem with the refrigeration Johan? one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. <laughs> I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary it's works out there, I need what to when you talk to these it. two. I just out. wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. And sell some shit and get a smaller place. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. Don't get mad None at me. We, should. we were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. I feel you really terrible for you. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Fuck off. <laughs> there are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. <laughs> or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Can I lie to him? I'm going to the butcher shop, but...
choices. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn oh, after. that's just like well, the last I three I'll investigations I did. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man. I don't care is what you think. Is there any way you could help us out? Where have I... What made you think well, that I want to help maybe you? Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Yeah, there's a lot for me. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Since when is he a fan of mine? It's the worst beast. What oh, was royalty? <laughs> Keep on, Bigby. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got cold drinks. Look really suspicious. Because there's no name brands. We got sandwiches. Kielbasa. Yeah, buddy. Take a number. Yep. Frozen meats. Not very appetizing. Super frozen meats. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hit the bell. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. Upside down. I've seen this before. Mannequin looking thing. Big B Wolf? <laughs> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <coughs> <coughs> Not even gonna um, say anything. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Are you drunk? Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... <laughs> He's so nervous. Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real ah. sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on he that. Just the fuck don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. It's a good, good looking sign. I wonder if I would have. Shit. If I'd gone through, if I'd seen that first. Oh, damn. We just I sell meat. Back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Zombie fables. Alright, kid. Right Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it.
popped out. Hook was empty. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Johan? He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? <laughs> please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. Wow. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way. You could have beat him he up. He said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case huh. Bloody well, Mary. There's the whole crew. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there. Shh. Open it up. Wolf out. Get that thing open. Oh, they're doing science back here. So if Johan comes up behind my back and doing some spells, what the shit is that? Oh, hit the run light, you ass. Whoa, what do they have tied up? Probably what is this place? Crane. I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Why'd you warn him, you dick? Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to! For huh. what? You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? <laughs> it hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I'm very sympathetic, Sheriff. Buff. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? <laughs> Good point, Verdian. Glad they had the red light labeled. Alright, we got science. What's over there? I can't... Ah. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Rogue witches. Assassin's Creed rogue witches. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Get a blood sample? It's gonna be Crane. All right, we've got chemistry lab, we've got chalkboard, packages. That symbol, it's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. 
It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Hmm. I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Make fun of my people? Don't need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Chalkboard? Huh. Looks like... A map or something. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> well put. <clears throat> oh. Oh, shh. Is everybody on here? Damn. Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. I, re I really want to smash his head with the... Uh, you see what's going on salt here? Lock. All these fables get magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials. And the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. It's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Well, you don't know shit. Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? <laughs> if this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. It's a pretty big, yeah, Dean's no, a pretty big great. lab. He said he knows where everybody is. I think is. they'd at least use a science lab in a high school or something. Way. They have a little bit That's more production right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Dude, yeah. don't get defensive. With stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? None of your business, Butcher. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Pawn shop? The Lucky Pawn. They probably He's so happy for me to get out of here. Too. The Lucky Pawn. I the other the place I'm supposed there, to go. I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Lock him in there. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Time for another cigarette. I'm trying to ruin it. Time to ruin all of his meat. What a weasley little character.